Lady Brave Carly Parker plays left fielder for Riverside Indian School softball in Anadarko, Oklahoma. She also runs cross country and track and plays basketball and slow pitch softball. Last year, the basketball team went to playoffs for the first time in several years. The team went 26 and two and made it to the semis. It felt great, but the environment and the like in like the gym, it was kind of different since we're playing in big gym and the background is nothing but nothing back there. So it's like, you know, kind of gives you like nervousness and like I was nervous during the whole game but knowing that I had I had to step up for my team and for my um, for my fans we end up winning. Parker also attends Votech in Fort Cobb. I do like digital marketing so I can make like shirts, banners, I can make like stuff, put it on cups, I can make mouse pads, I can make all those type of things. She said her college plans are still being worked out but she does want to be in Kansas. I wanted to go to college with my sister but you know, I, you know, since I've been with her throughout my whole life, playing with her throughout my whole life, I want to go with her, but sometimes I want to, you know, experience a difference. So I'm maybe I, I still be in Kansas. Maybe I still be in Kansas, but it's not just as her. I might, I might want to go D2, just because I'm looking at this one. But there's other options, so I really wouldn't want to, you know, just pick it. So I really just, just waiting for my other options to go. Parker said if she gets the opportunity, she'll play basketball or another sport in college. She hasn't considered her major yet, but wants to be a lawyer. Well, I watch SVU a lot, Special Victims Law and Order. I watch that a lot, and like, it just makes me want to, you know, get into it. But I heard it's like also argument, <laughs> argument stuff. So like, I got like arguing a little bit. But honestly, it's like really interesting. Um, it's interesting to watch, honestly. Like, I like how they go from one thing to another, from one crime to another, and just, like, keep going off. I need clues, but you got to really, really be smart. Until then, Parker said she'll miss the bus rides and her teammates. No, I wasn't ready for it because it went by way too fast. Like, it went from, like, not having a freshman season, barely having a sophomore season, to having a junior, now I'm a senior. She also plays softball with her younger sister. It feels great, you know, so me as a sister, I can push her to be where she can be, to where I was. Um, I can actually like motivate her and tell her like, come on, you got this, don't give up. Like she wants to give up, but I tell her don't. Um, you know, she looks up to me as a role model, so I just tell her like, come on, you got this, don't give up. She said attending an all Indian school helps her stay involved in her culture. Like there's a thing called Choctaw Club and like they have their own stuff. So like when we talk about her stuff, well, I'll talk about Comanche. We don't have a club like that, but I, I, I still end up talking it, about it. Um, like people ask me, like um, make me feel out of stuff or whatever, and then I'll talk, sit here and tell them about like what tribe my Comanche is, Comanche that, like just little stuff. Parker appreciates her family and anyone who has supported her and looks up to her. Reporting for the Comanche Nation PIO News, Natasha Mercadante.